Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video. Today it's time to make a video about all of the variations of low pressure sodium bulbs. So low pressure sodium bulbs were really common in street lighting and in like until a few years ago. And there are a, are a lot of different low pressure sodium bulb types. And I figured it might be fun to make a video about all of the different versions. So um, let's start with the smallest. Which is this 18 watt version. So 18 watt was really common in also street lighting, mostly postal fixtures, but um, also in just normal outdoor lighting. Since they were very energy efficient, as you can see, and uh, they last pretty long. So this is what a low 18 watt looks like. You can see it's very small, not, not much more than uh, 10 centimeters. And there's only one version of them, it's very simple, it's this version with the black base right here, and nothing more. So let's head over to 26 watt, um, which is 3700 lumens, and is as you can see a lot bigger than the previous one was. Um, still not very big for a low pressure sodium bulb, but these are almost 30 centimeters I think. And still with a black base, but the this is called SOX E, and the E stands for a more energy efficient version. Because there's also a um, bulb with the same size, which is the 35 watt version. So here we have a 35 watt one, which is the exact same size. It looks the exact same, apart from uh, the base. Because this one is red, and red is for the normal uh, low pressure sodium colors. And they have the, uh, the same lumen output. Then we also have a PSG version. And PSG is basically a bit more of an expensive low pressure sodium bulb that lasts uh, should last longer. And this is the 35 watt version. And that one has a blue base as you can see. And right here I have the uh, 36 watt version. Which again is an energy efficient version. And it has a black base again. And it's... This one's uh, again a bit bigger. It's uh, less than f a bit less than fifty centimeters in length. In length, and yeah, nothing special. These are very energy efficient, by the way. They I can't really see the lumen output yet, but um, they are energy efficient. Then let's head over to the PSG version of the thirty-six watt version. Um, this one has a green base. So you can see outside of that the bulb is the exact same but it has a green base which uh, makes it easy to recognize when they are in the box and these are quite rare actually Philips also made PSG bulbs uh, the 36 one with just a black base so these are pretty hard to get with the green base and there's I don't think that there's a lumen output on this box no there isn't up next we have 55 watts, um, which is again the same size as the 36 watt version, um, but with a red base again. And these use these uh, are 6100 lumens, so uh, pretty bit more than the 35 watt version. And yes, it does have a PSG version again with a blue base. And it's the same size as all of the other 36 watt and 55 watt ones. So here we have all the versions next to each other. Um, 18 watt, 26, 35, uh, 36, 55. And all of their boxes. These are all of the base colors. And some other differences between the PSG version and the normal versions is that the uh, bottom right here. With a um, normal version, it has to be black. As you can see, this one is brand new. It does have a black bottom right here, partially black. I don't know why that is, to be honest. But the PSG version, since this is also a new one, doesn't have a um, black bottom at all. And um, what's different between low pressure sodium and uh, fluorescent, for example, is that... Um, this black spot right here is actually normal. It shows that the bulb is pretty new. 
or brand new in this case, with uh, which differs from fluorescent diff because it's if it if the electrodes are like um, black or the end of the tube is black, then it actually says that these are end of life. Then after a while of working, which you can see with this one, they turn a bit more white, and this turns white or clear. And then after all, after burning out, they turn all black again, and um, the black is a bit more aggressive, as you can see on this one. It's not that this one's burned out, but it's pretty close to burning out. But yeah, it's kind of hard to tell uh, when low pressure sodium bulbs are new and when low pressure sodium bulbs are used. I figured that it would be a good idea to split the, this video in two parts since um, there are quite a lot of low pressure sodium bulbs and versions and we're not even halfway yet so uh, I'll see you, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of this video.